This is Lesson 70, BHDL Example 44. In this example, we'll define an n-bit register. This will be a useful VHDL program you ought to put in your uh, toolkit because anytime you need to make a register of any size, you can use this program. Here is the entity, very similar to the 4-bit one we had in the last example. The only difference is now we're going to add this generic statement, n, integer. We'll default it to 8. You remember you can set it to any value you want in the port map statement where you'll have a generic map uh, statement that you can add the specific value you want. Then we'll have load, clock, clear, and we'll call d the input. This will be n minus 1 down to 0. So if n, for example, is 8, this would be 7 down to 0. q is the output, n minus 1 down to 0. And then the architecture is almost identical to the one we had for the 4-bit register. We have process, clear, and clock, and clear. If clear equals 1, we want to set all the bits of Q to 0. We can do that by saying Q gets, then in parentheses, others go to 0. This is the way you write others such that each bit in Q, no matter what the size is, since we don't know the size, will get 0. Else, if clock tick event and clock equals 1 on the rising edge of the clock. If load is 1, then Q gets D. So that's the architecture for this n-bit register. And here's the simulation. So we have a clock. We have our asynchronous clear. For D, we'll have values coming in 3A, then 8F, then C7. And as expected, Q only changes on the rising edge of the clock when load is high. So load goes high, then D is 3A at this point, so on this rising edge Q becomes 3A. Load goes away, it stays 3A even though D changes. Now load goes high, typically for one clock cycle. On this rising edge Q will get the 8F. Load goes low, D changes to C7. Output Q stays 8F until load goes high again. Then on the next rising edge, Q will become C7. So this simulation shows that this 8-bit register in fact works. And you can use this uh, n-bit register anytime you need uh, a register of any size.